Tip Benson here. Welcome back to my channel, the place to be to help you find the fragrances that you love. I'm super excited to share this video with you. It is my top 10 for women for fall. This is the designer edition and I have a bonus fragrance this time. We're going to do something a little bit different because this list is so good. I had to add one more just because I, you know, I want to help you out. So before we jump in to this video, make sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you can be notified when I post my little fragrance videos here on YouTube. Also, when I am not here on YouTube, I am always on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. Actually, several of the fragrances that I'm mentioning today here on this list have been talked about on my Instagram feed. So make sure you follow me there keeping touch with me. We're gonna do this in no particular order, but I do have some pretty specific categories. Pretty femme, glamorous feminine fragrances, and then we have some unisex scents that, well, they're marketed towards women, but I feel like they're quite unisex, so. Let's start with Pretty Femme. First fragrance I'm gonna share with you is from the House of Guerlain. This is Mon Guerlain Bloom of rose. Actually, the spokesperson behind this fragrance is Angelina Jolie. It has notes of vanilla, rose, and lavender, and it's a citrusy floral. It's quite bright and sparkling, and it reminds me of moments when I would travel and I would go straight to Duty Free and go to the Guerlain section because that's where they have all the different flankers for this fragrance and other Guerlain scents. I really like this one for fall. It's bright, but it also has some depth to it, which makes it perfect for the cooler winter fall months. Next fragrance we have here is Perfect by Marc Jacobs. I was able to host an online launch party for Marc Jacobs for the release of Perfect with the perfumer of this fragrance, Domitil Michelon Bertier, who has an amazing fragrance portfolio. She's created Flower Bomb, this one. So Perfect is a comfort floral with notes of rhubarb, narcissus, which is daffodil, almond milk, and cashmere and cedar in the base. Really like this one. It's more signature-esque, like you can wear this any season and it's perfect for this fall. So another 2020 release and another brand that I was able to partner with on Instagram, Giorgio Armani. This is their fragrance, My Way. Brand new, love the bottle, love this cap. It's so pretty. It's like a gemstone. This one has notes of orange blossom, tuberose, Indian jasmine, vanilla, white musk, and cedar. To me, this feels like a signature scent. I love wearing it. I feel like it's so easy. It's like a kind of grab and go floral fragrance. Particularly these days, I've been really loving fragrances with orange blossom. Orange blossom is just, to me, it smells very luxurious and it's here in this fragrance. So these are the three scents that I would consider pretty and feminine. They definitely have that sweet girl, cute girl, playful woman vibe. And up next, we're going into the more glamorous, sexier scents. And I will be mentioning none other than Versace Dylan Blue. Now, I would describe this as a scent that you could possibly wear all year round. It's very fun and playful. It has a really glamorous and seducing vibe to it. The notes here are black currant, Granny Smith apple, clover, rose. There's also jasmine and peach in here as well. I think that you could wear this on nights out, moments where you want to be noticed. I really love this scent and I think it's perfect for this season. Up next, we have one of my favorites. This is a must-have in my opinion. This is Libre by YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. For me, this fragrance just does it for me. I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it gives you that lavender, which makes it kind of soothing and calm, but it can't help but be glamorous and sexy and bold and free like its name. I adore this scent for going out, 
to me, I feel like the scent that people get to notice you in. Quick little sidebar, they just came out with the Intense version, which smells amazing as well. But this is the one that I'll be recommending for the fall. Another fragrance in that glamorous, sort of sexy, feminine vibe is this one right here. It is from Chloe. It is called Nomad Absolute. This is a woody aromatic fragrance with notes of plum, oak moss, sandalwood, and musk. To me, this is a comforting, sexy, yet glamorous scent. It has a bit of a retro vibe, which I'm totally into for the fall. And because it's an oriental fragrance, it kind of gives me like that depth and sophistication that I would want to wear in the cooler months. It's super pretty. I love the bottle. It smells amazing and I do think that it's perfect for fall. Up next we have a scent from Givenchy. This is Lingerie Intense. It's gorgeous. Bottle is stunning. Beautiful black glass bottle. If you like black bottles, you need this one in your collection. So this one has notes of sesame, black pepper, orange blossom. There's also vetiver, patchouli, and vanilla. And this is deep, dark, cozy, sexy, and it also has a mysteriousness about this fragrance. It's very powerful as well. I've been wearing this to bed lately don't ask me why it gives me like a comforting feeling when i wear it and it definitely feels like a nighttime fragrance but it's very bold i would wear this out i would wear this on date night i feel like it can be very seducing it's one of those scents that i think might not be for everyone but that's okay i am actually more drawn to fragrances like these this one is definitely worth a full review which i will do let me know if you want me to do a review on this i think it's a special one so no fall countdown would be correct without a tom ford fragrance on it and today i'm choosing this gem tom ford's black orchid puff um first of all the bottle is mad big just saying just throwing that out there it's gorgeous though right that art deco look it's super gold, which is hard to tell on camera because of the lights, but it's a moment. If you watch this channel, then you know I'm a big fan of Black Orchid. To me, Black Orchid does no wrong. I genuinely love that scent. The intense version is even better. It has notes of Black Orchid, Ylang Ylang, Black Plum, Black Truffle, and Patchouli. I think this was the fragrance, not this particular one, but Black Orchid in general was the scent that made me start to be okay with patchouli. I'm obsessed with this fragrance. I've also been wearing this one at night. To me, I feel like this is going out scent. It's very glamorous, very unisex. It's powerful. It packs a punch. It gives you that Tom Ford vibe, which will not disappoint. That's why I'm choosing it here. Again, one of those scents that are not for everyone, but you know, for the people it's for, you'll enjoy it. So for my glamour category, we have these on this side, which I think they're still powerful, but they're a little bit more playful and glamorous. And these are like my nighttime. These still can be worn at night, don't get me wrong, but these are just, they have that the mystery about it, that mysteriousness that makes it feel deep and dark stunners and the chloe is like an in-between it can go both ways not for nothing i think these two can be unisex as well so just want to throw that out there up next we have a scent that i've been loving for some time now this is bottega veneta's illusione adore this fragrance especially for fall it has fig leaves black currant and orange blossom it's a gorgeous 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 scent to me i think that this comes across very unisex it's super easy to wear it's fresh and almost woody it has a greenness about it probably because of the green fig it's just a wonderful scent you need to try this one to me this smells like niche quality another one of my favorites that i really love and i enjoy for fall is Alien by Mugler. This scent is a must-have for me. I'm sorry. I just love it so much. You can wear it any season. It smells good in the hot 
piping hot weather but it also smells really nice in the fall cooler months grab and go sort of fragrance it's an oriental floral a white floral and it has notes of amber cinnamon ginger vanilla orange blossom of course and tuberose this is like a love or hate it fragrance but to me i think it's perfect for fall very unisex and it's just a winner and we like winners here and last but certainly not least the 11th fragrance on this countdown is a winner for me it is none other than Maison Margiela Replicas. There you are. So Coffee Break is gorgeous. It's totally unisex. It gives you that moment of coffee that you need without like smelling like you threw coffee all over yourself. Sometimes you can get like a fragrance with a note of coffee, but it's just too much. And I think here it's done very well and just right. It has notes of coffee beans, fine pastries, lavender blossom, and creamy milk. It's just a perfect fragrance to wear during the cooler months. It has that warm, cozy feeling to it. It's not overdone. It's easy to wear. It's refreshing, but it's also quite warm and fresh, if that makes sense. I really like this one, and I highly recommend it for the fall season. I could totally do a full review on this as well if you'd like that. That. So yeah, that was my list for fall. These fragrances here, the Alien, Bottega Veneta, and Replica Coffee Break, I feel like these are very unisex. So if you like fragrances that lean more gender neutral as if that's even a thing but you know what i'm saying like they just feel like anyone can wear them they're not a hyper floral fragrance try these i hope that you enjoyed this list it took me some time to put it together but thank you for your patience i know you guys were wanting it and rightfully so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up it helps me with the youtube algorithm so definitely push that button right now also in the comments down below let me know what you're wearing this fall i'm super curious it's always exciting for me to see what you're wearing what fragrances you like to wear and what you recommend for the fall we get to learn from each other which is a good thing lastly i'd love if you could leave me a comment and let me know what video you'd like to see next i know i have several that are in the works right now like my top 10 niche edition for fall both men and women and I have to put out a designer list for my guys. I am thinking of you. Do not worry. I got you. So love you forever, my friends. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.